morning, mighty men. We're reading the book of Numbers this week in Dick Simmons' Bible reading and study plan. In this video clip, Dick uses 1 Corinthians 10, which we were reading last week, to bring out some truths about the history of Israel recorded in Numbers, which we're reading this week. If you look at uh, 1 Corinthians 10, you get uh, basically how why it's important for us to look at Numbers. Yeah. 5. Nevertheless, with most of them, God was not well pleased. For they were laid low in the wilderness. We all have a wilderness to live in. And it says, now these things happened. Why? As examples for us. Mm -hmm. That we should not crave evil things as they craved. And do not be idolaters as some of them were, as it was written, the people sat down to eat and drink and stood up to play. We love to eat and drink, and even the word, besides physically. But then, what do we do? We get up and play. Right. Instead of we go out, instead of go out and fight, and overcome evil with good. We, mm -hmm. we go out. We go on picnics and, and potlucks and just have a good time. <laughs> okay. Right. Going on, it says, "No, let us act immorally, as some of them did." And 23,000 fell in one day. Mm. It's important we learn from the mistakes of God's people in the past. That's why this history has been captured for us. Our Bible reading is the first nine chapters of Numbers today. And 622, the Lord says to Moses, Tell Aaron and his sons, This is how you are to bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. 9 and verse 15. On the day of the tabernacle, the tent of the covenant law was set up. The cloud covered it from evening till morning. The cloud above the tabernacle looked like fire. Verse 17. Whenever the cloud lifted from the tent, the Israelites set out. Whenever the cloud settled, the Israelites encamped. Let's pray. Lord, teach us by the example of the Israelites that uh, we would realize that you do judge nations and you judge nations for their iniquity. Lord, that we would not crave evil things, that we would not be idolaters. Lord, that we would uh, not be under your judgment where we see that 23,000 fell in one day because of your judgment on that people. And Lord, we see that your judgment is upon us because we have not followed in the ways that you would have us. We have even allowed our babies to be sacrificed, 61 million since Roe v. Wade. We pray, Lord, for this, uh, this case that's coming up before the Supreme Court on Wednesday. Lord, that you would reverse that, that you would end this Holocaust, that you would save the lives of babies, that the church would rise up in prayer and take our authority over this in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that we would be guided by your presence. We would be guided, Lord, that we would have a, like, a, like a modern day pillar of fire and a cloud that would guide us to, to go one direction or another, and that we would be a, a people who would be obedient to that. Lord, we see that there was a time to sit down and drink and to get up and play, but now is the time for us to get up and pray. Lord, raise up men to be prayer warriors in this hour in Jesus' name. And I'm going to end with this blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you, men. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Shalom.